Hello friends, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Carissa. I am a teacher with a background in K-12 special education, and I'm currently an assistive technology specialist in Southern California. Here on The Technified Teacher, I'll share with you tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you use technology tools in your classroom. So in my last couple of videos, we looked at using PDF annotation tools on a Chromebook. Today I'll be sharing my favorite ways to annotate PDFs on an iPad. Let's get started. First, you will need a PDF to annotate with. I recommend scanning documents and sharing them with students ahead of time. But if you didn't do this, it's not a big deal. You can just scan using the iPad. And I like to use Adobe Scan for this. Once you open up the app, you're going to go down to the lower right corner where you see the camera icon. And you'll have to excuse this one. Um, I didn't have a piece of paper to scan, so I'm just scanning from my computer screen but you would line up the document. Um, Adobe Scan automatically detects where the document is, but then you can go ahead and adjust the crop areas to only select the part of the image that you want included in the PDF. Once you have the area selected, click continue and your PDF will load. From here, you can save it and then open it in whichever PDF annotation app you prefer. We're going to start with Adobe Acrobat. Once your document loads in Adobe Acrobat, go to the lower right corner where you see this little pen icon and select comment. This will bring up all of your annotations in a toolbar up at the top. So let's start with highlights. You can change the color. You have quite a few to select from and you can also change the opacity of the highlight. Then you just select the text that you want to apply the highlight to. And there you go, your text is highlighted. Next to that is the strike through tool. So just like the highlighter, you can change the color, the opacity, and then select the text to apply the strike through. Next to that is the underline tool. Same thing, you can change the color, opacity, and then select to apply the underline. Notice in this though, it only underlines or individual words. So just something to keep in mind. The next button is the text tool. So when you click anywhere in the document, a little text box shows up at the bottom of your screen. That's where you can add your text and then select post and it'll add the text to your PDF. And then if you wanna change anything, you can click on the text. So you can change the font size after you've typed it, you can change the color, and then you can also edit the note itself. And if you want to delete the text, just click the trash can icon. Next is the pen tool. This works really well on an iPad, especially if you're using like a stylus or even just your finger because of course it's a touch screen so it kind of interacts just like a normal pen would. You can change the thickness of the line as well as the color, and then go ahead and draw away on your PDF. If you ever want to undo something, the undo button is up at the top right corner. So here I'm just gonna adjust the opacity so you can see how it looks a little bit different. And now I'm using it as a highlighter, but this time I'm drawing directly on the text as a highlight. Next is the comment tool. So just like the text box, you're going to click anywhere in the PDF and a text area will show up at the bottom. But this time, instead of posting the text directly into the PDF, it will just leave the comment icon. So if you want to see the, the comment, you're going to click on the icon and then the comment pops up. From here, you can reply to it. So maybe you and you're using this to communicate with your students or they're working on a collaborative project. And of course, the trash can icon will delete it. And then finally is the eraser. So with this enabled, just click on whichever annotation you want deleted and it will erase. 
So to share your annotated pages, you're going to click that little share icon up at the top. You can send it as an email or you can share a copy to cloud storage like Google Drive. And that's pretty much it for Adobe Acrobat. It's free, which is great, and it's minimal, which I kind of like because it can be less distracting that way. But there's another free app that I really like that just offers a little bit more in terms of annotation tools, and that app is called PDF Expert. I'm going to first show you how to open this in Adobe Scan. So I'm gonna hit share and then share a copy. And then I'm gonna scroll down until I see copy to PDF expert. And then it will open in the PDF expert app. Now you can also open up documents that have been shared on a cloud account like Google Drive, for example. So I'm gonna to go to my Google Drive, find the PDF that I want to open, click those three little dots and then open in and it'll prepare the PDF. And then here I can open it either in Adobe Acrobat or PDF expert or whichever annotation tool you are using. So now let's take a look at the annotation tools and how they're a little bit different in PDF Expert. So first I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so you can see this a little better. And the first tool is the highlight. So with this enabled, all I need to do is select the text and as you can see, it highlights the text as I'm selecting it, which is kind of nice. And it's hard to see on the screen here, but um, it's the edges are a little jagged to make it look a little more authentic, which, you know, isn't necessary, but I kind of like that. I think it's really cool. <laughs> And if I go up to the top, I can change the color. And here's one thing that I love about PDF Expert is the color options. You can completely customize your colors. It even gives you an eyedropper to select a color from your document or from your screen, which again is not necessary, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> Next is the underline tool. So when I click on this and select the text, now here you'll notice instead of underlining individual words, it underlines the entire selection that I'm making, which I prefer just because it looks a little bit cleaner. And just like the highlight, I can change the color. Another way that you can access the annotations is if you select the text first and then all of your tools will pop up. So here I can select highlight and whatever I have selected for the highlight color, it'll change or it'll, well, it will apply that highlight to the text. So I'm going to select this again and this time I'm going to underline it. So it's just a different way to interact with the text and apply your annotations. Next is the strike through tool. And if you missed it before, the undo button is up in the upper right corner. All right, so now let's take a look at the typewriting tool. So just like before, you just click wherever you want in the document. But what's different about PDF Expert is that you type directly on the document rather than inserting the text after you've typed it. Um, I like this and I know a lot of my students really like it because they can actually see where their writing is going and you can change the text color, you can change the background color of the text. It just gives you a few more options. So just to show you what some of these options look like, I'm going to select some of the text to change it. Um, what I will note is that whatever changes you make apply to the entire text box that you added. So as you can see, if I change the background color, it, it applies to all of the text, not just the text that I selected. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're changing anything. And then again, here are all those custom colors that 
I just have so much fun with. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna use the pen tool. And again, I can change the color, I can change the thickness, and I can also change how it interacts when I'm drawing. Um, right now I just have it as a continuous line. And there you go, pretty simple. Now let's go back to the text and we'll look at the highlighting pen tool. And just like the regular pen, it acts like an actual highlighter. So you're just drawing over the text. You're not selecting any text. So it just depends on how you like to highlight or interact with the text and which one you prefer. As I mentioned before, using the pen tool or the highlighting pen work really, really well on an iPad because of the touch screen interface. Um, so some students that I work with actually really prefer this on the iPad because it feels like they're actually writing on the PDF itself. And here I'm just making some adjustments so you can see the difference. Um, first I'm gonna erase something though. So you just click the eraser tool and click wherever you want to get rid of the annotation. Um, I will, I do want to note though that the eraser only erases the text box, pen, or highlighting pen annotations that have been made. I'll show you how to erase some of the other ones later on. So again, just to show you, I'm going to click the eraser and I'm going to click on the highlight I want to get rid of. I'm going to go back in my highlighting pen tool and make it just a little more transparent. So this is the lightest that you can make um, a highlight. You can also add comments. Very similar to Adobe Acrobat, you just click wherever you want to add the comment. And this time it actually pops up as kind of like a sticky note, which is cool. And what I really like about this is that you can also color code the comment boxes. So here I'm using this as textual evidence, but I can go down and change the color. So um, I can kind of color coordinate my answers to my comments or my textual support. You can also add shapes in PDF Expert. So you have a square, circle, and a few different types of lines, including arrows. And you can also change the look of the line itself. So here I'm going to draw a couple of rectangles. I do want to point out too that the circle tool actually creates an ellipse and you can adjust it after you've drawn it. So there are some PDF annotation programs that um, don't allow that kind of customization of shapes once you've drawn them. So um, it's really nice in PDF Expert because you can actually change the shapes after they've been drawn. Here I'm just going to add an arrow so you can see what that looks like. And then last, we have stickers. There aren't a ton of stickers in here. Um, I honestly probably, I don't use this one very often, um, but there are calendar themed stickers, there's school themed stickers. Um, I think there's like a weather category, so they're kind of cool. Um, maybe, you're, maybe you decide to use a couple of different icons um, with your students to indicate or communicate certain ideas. Um, so it's just kind of fun. So you can actually see all of your annotations if you go up to that little book icon at the top and then select your annotations. So here are all of my annotations in the document. And this is another way that you can erase them as well. So I'm gonna swipe one of these annotations to the left and click the trash can and it will delete that specific annotation. Up at the top there are a couple of other tabs too, so the drawing tab just gives you all of your drawing tools in one place. 
There's also the insert tab. Now, not all of these are free. You can add an image as well as a sound bite. Now, the sound feature is super cool and I'll show you what that does. So I'm gonna click here in the document. This shows that he is nervous, but cares about teaching. And now it's inserted my recording as a sound clip that can be replayed. I love this feature. It's great for students who maybe have trouble expressing their ideas through writing or they just want to explain their ideas in a different way. As the teacher, you can include sound bites to provide more explanations or guiding questions. It's just, it's really, really cool. All right, now we're gonna go up to the little A icons and here you can change your view settings. So you can change how you scroll through the PDF, if you want to just see the first page by itself or if you wanna be able to see all of, your, all of your pages together. You can change the brightness. You also have a few options for changing the contrast. So you can have a dark uh, or light text on dark, a sepia, and then just the normal view. And then I'm gonna move this down a bit. There's also text to speech with PDF Expert. So I'm gonna turn this on. And now if I hit play, it will read the text in the document to me. Passage one, Dennis Hat, they can sense your fear. That was one of the- So that's pretty nice. Um, you can skip through it if you'd like. Another way that you can have the text read to you is by selecting the text. So I'm gonna turn text-to-speech off and then, um, oh, I'm gonna close out of these settings. And then I'm going to select text and then my annotation tools pop up and here you'll see the speak option. That was one of the RST things he had been taught. So this is a good way to use text-to-speech if you only want a certain set of text read rather than having to skip through and listening to the entire PDF. Now there are a couple of different ways to save in this app. The first one we're going to look at is saving just the annotations. So if I go back up to this book icon and go to my annotations tab, here you'll see the export option. And I can send an annotation summary. So I'm gonna click export. And now you'll see all of my annotations have been removed from the document and made into their own document. So I can click on these three little dots at the top and select share. And now I can share this document to my Google Drive. I can also save the entire document with annotations as well. So I'm gonna click on these three dots and then go down to share. And here I have a couple of options. Original document allows me to edit my annotations later. Flattened copy, I won't be able to edit them. So just depending on how you want to share your document. And then you can save wherever you'd like, but you know me, I'll be saving mine to Google Drive. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments below which tools you like to use for digital annotations. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss future tech tutorials. And until next time, keep learning something new every day.